Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic and the Secret Ring. So, in the last episode, uh, the last two episodes were quite annoying in my opinion. The fifth episode decided to start being weird with the controls and annoying, and the sixth episode I hate, if I'm remembering the order correctly. Because the sixth episode, I believe, is the one that I, the footage was quite long and I had to edit down. I'll be releasing that tomorrow for me. By the way, guys, as you might have seen, I last saved 531. It is currently 6-1, aka June 1st, aka my birthday. Today was fantastic. I got to see a lot of people and hang out and have a good time and stuff. It was a lot of fun. Three, two, two, one. So, I don't really know what I'm talking about. This is just the end of my day. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to comprehend rational thought. I don't even know why I'm facing that direction. That's not even the direction I'm supposed to be facing on this platform. I hate Dinosaur Jungle. No, I... Restarting this. You guys never saw any of this. So, guys, this is definitely my first attempt and not my second. Uh, let's just say Sonic decided not to control at all. It was quite upsetting to me. But what I did learn was how to game, aka nothing, because it's pretty self-explanatory. Kill enemies, unlock boxes, get silver rings that give you 20 each, don't get hit by enemies that have dickish placements on tiny platforms that Sonic doesn't let you move on. Actually, just don't go down that path, I'm not even going down that path, I've made that decision. There we go. And the worst part is, I this game doesn't control this part correctly in this mission. I This is literally my top speed. This section of the game was messed up or something. Because I can no longer move well. They want you to go up there. I'm not going up there because it's dickish enemy placement. So instead, I'm going down here to see what's here. Oh, that's a dickish enemy placement. Right out of my view. I saw something move there, but I was wondering, like, oh, what is it? Come on, game. I know you can move faster than this. Trust me, it's better hitting that than... Hitting the stone, I mean hitting the, yeah, the metal ball. So, <laughs> that took a minute and a half, better than my previous thing that took me four minutes. Yeah, I'm not exactly happy about it. This homing stability re decreases recovery time after performing a homing attack. Power restart gives additional rings when restarting after defeat. Oh, cool. So yeah, this game is can, like progressively getting worse in the way it controls. I'm actually curious about something though. Yeah, the collect the ring segments for the most part don't have any fire souls that are hidden. I still don't know when it is I'm going to be getting fire souls. I might do that towards the end of the let's play. I might just make episodes dedicated to doing that kind of thing. So let's go for the goal. Head for the center in the evil foundry. Uh, I will actually be customizing skills again, because homing stability is something I'm extremely interested in. And I honestly don't care about backstep. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what pearls do, so I'll take that off. I care about that. Power restart's interesting, but so is ring bonus. I guess I'll do power restart because I might fail more often. All right, let's go for the goal. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Is this a castle? Yes, yes, it is a castle. Yeah, but it's no ordinary castle. Also, you guys might have already heard this song. I've never seen a the reason you might think you've already heard this is because I used it last episode during speed-up segments. 
Um, okay, Sonic, Sonic, please. Can I not? Can I not get this fire soul now? I don't think I can get the fire soul now. Great. So I've already missed out on something. But like I was saying, the music. I used it last episode during the speed-up segments because, honestly, it was well needed. What? Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm confused what the point of... Alright. Let's hope I get some more rings. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's a Sonic game. Never mind. Okay, so this level is basically designed to mess with you. Why? Why was I flipping so much? Yeah, uh... I, I don't think I want to talk about last episode anymore. And I got hurt by that for some reason. But uh, honestly, honestly, last episode quite upset me. And note self, don't try to do anything fancy because this game doesn't allow it. The air is so hot in here. You're not gonna evaporate, are you, Shara? What? Why can I get through the fast one, but I can't get through this slow one? Makes absolutely no sense to me. The air is so hot in here. Why would she evaporate now that I think about it? Look, I had some rings to spare me from death. All right, and now that I've done that, now that I've done, there we go. Oh, it doesn't let me, it doesn't let me back up anymore. Fine then, I guess I have to kill them with the barrel that was on top of it. Fine then. Haha, I got a fire soul. Smaller. Move the Wii remote forward quickly. Keep trying, and you can break free. Okay, why is it game? Am I not supposed to do it when it's smaller? Is the game lying to me? Okay, this is default. This is backwards. Get. Okay, that's how you do it. You have to do it when it starts getting bigger, apparently. Should have seen that coming, considering. There was an explosive barrel back there. But the, why does it always overshoot that? I think I just missed out on something. Stop it. Okay, yeah. Right when it's like completely closed or right as it's opening up is when you want to do it. Come on. There we go. That's how you do it. And I fell right on spikes because... Ah, this game! I'm getting more and more upset with this, and this makes me sad because I want to enjoy this game! I'm not saying it's a good game, but I'm saying it's fun to play! Because I enjoy doing these videos. There we go. I will say, though, 
that if we have to play this long, I will quickly get tired of this music. There we go. That's how they expect you to do it. They just keep expecting to shake the Wiimote to win. Okay, apparently I'm a lot faster than the barrel is, so I got hurt. Yeah, no. Go and pull that crap with me. Let's keep going, Shara. All right, now we're finally in the actual foundry. And last thing, yeah. Why does it? What's the point of it going in slow motion right there? Like it almost stops before it actually hits them. Come on. Okay, should be slamming down now. All right, finally. Now that world. Ooh, hey, I'm actually curious. What's down here? Apparently death. Apparently that was just a way to get up. Not that I really needed a way to... The ring is what killed me. Not that I needed a way to get up. <laughs> I'm not even bothering fighting him. Okay, let's go all the way back there because I actually want to kill you guys now that I see their boxes. Because you know collectibles could be in them. So apparently... That's not in range. That right there isn't in range. What? Okay, let's try that again with less random. Stop walking. Like that, yeah. Come on. Why did it only kill the middle one? You know what? I give up. I'm not wasting my time doing this. I can waste my free time doing this without doing it on video. You can use a homing attack on that machine. Oh, you don't say. There isn't a giant red circle on it. Also, why does it target that instead of the machines that are closer to it? And just like that is how you do it, but apparently that shot me way farther. How was I even supposed to... I just saw one spawn. I just watched one spawn next to me. This game... <laughs> this game is... Uh, this game is bringing new insights to my mind. New things that I don't see in everyday games. Also, sorry for hitting my mic stand right there. But this game brings whole new vantages to me. <laughs> and just like that, you got to the goal by getting the center of this random back. Actually, why are we here? Why are we here? I just realized that. Alright. We leveled up with 1700 to spare. Soul Gauge. Soul is depleted in order to use speed break and time break. 
Balance, automatic recovery after taking damage. Why would they wait till now to do the whole soul thing? Isn't that like a beginning skill or something you learn through actual events? It's him! What's he doing here? He's calling more spirits! Spirits? Come forth from the fiery depths of Jahannam, ye condemned by Iblis, he's a friend. I saw the whole Iblis thing. I get that one. already carved up half of the pages that make up this world. Then why do you need to call for the creature like that? <laughs> I've decided to let the Ifrit burn whatever pages remain in the book. You, blue rat! Have you gathered the seven rings yet? And enough of that rat stuff! Seriously, I'm a hedgehog! Hedgehog! All you filthy vermin are worthless, just the same. At any rate, you'd better hurry it up. Dang! With only half of the flame left, only half of your life force remains! Wait! I'm confused. Hey, I you! Get out of our way! I swear, if we get a world ring out of this... That didn't work? It's no use, Sonic. Your life is tied to the flame. You cannot fight fire with fire. Oh, yeah? Just watch me. Oh, this does not look good. Shara, lend me your power. Time break. Sorry, but we've got to run. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll get the chance to play again real soon. But he just said that he would fight him. And then he immediately used an ability he had no idea what was. Okay, Sonic, you just... Okay, we're gonna get one more mission in. Actually, you know what? We're gonna end this with the tutorial to figure out what the butt time break is. Okay, let's figure out what time break is first, and we'll start off the next episode with speed break. Alright, customize this real quick. I have three more points that... Oh. Wow, that's freaking expensive. Never mind. Okay, let's just go then. If that's how it's gonna be. Alright. When your soul gauge has power, press the plus control pad down. Alright. Okay, this would make a lot of people when sick. When gauge has power, press the plus control pad down and release to do a time break. During time break, everything around you will slow down. Do they expect me to need the time break to get through that? Because that was actually not that bad of an obstacle course. Just use timing. All right, uh, you know what? I don't care. I I know I just said that, oh, I do one tutorial. I'm going to do two. I'm going to do both of them so we can just start out with actual missions next episode. Because that I was expecting that to take at least twice. At least three times, I guess. You speed break to reach the goal. I like how I'm actually able to uh, pearls will fill up your soul gauge. use my soul gauge now. When your 
soul gauge has power. Press the... You can run ultra fast speed when performing break. a speed break. Okay, that's actually fairly cool. Especially how it beat the enemies that I ran no into. No so, yeah, that'll be useful in the future. Both speed break and time break will be useful. Time break, I don't know what kind of situation I would use that in unless everything was going too fast and I needed a time to think about it. But typically I can do that on my own. And speed break, uh, freaking, if I wanted to run fast, I guess if I wanted to be Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Guys, next time, let's. <laughs> English, I fail at it. Next time, on let's play Sonic and the Secret Rings. We're gonna be going to Sand Oasis, apparently. We're gonna be chasing down. Actually, are we chasing down the Jin or are we going after the rings? That was actually a really ambiguous ending and didn't really explain anything. Especially why we got abilities or why we randomly turned to her for help after we said that we'd be doing it on our own. Why even did we run away? I'm really confused. So I'll see you guys next time.